I do think that my threat level got too big, which was in part to my competition wins. I think that's definitely fair to say that's part of the reason I'm sitting here. I would rather be taken out of the game for being too big of a threat though. So ultimately I felt like the position I was in, I had to keep winning. So I don't necessarily regret winning all the competitions, but definitely is a big part about why I'm here. During the commercial break, I was talking to Turner, maybe not my proudest moment, but Turner was really trying to justify himself and I get the game move, I can respect the game. Last week when I was HOH, Turner came up to me unprompted on my end and started making me all these promises that he had my back going forward for the next week, which again, that's big brother, that's fine if you go back on that, but he was trying to use the fact that we were both part of the LGBTQ plus community he would never take out the only other person in that community in the house. And I felt like that was kind of crossing a line. It was going beyond the game at that point and it was just an unnecessary lie. And if you had no intention of sticking to that, I don't know why you even said that, why you brought that into the game. So I was calling him out for it because they, he even mentioned it in his speech when he put me up. It was like, I just, no, I, I wasn't gonna just sit there and be quiet. I, I wasn't happy about it and I was gonna let him know that. I love Brittany to death. I don't regret it. I was on the block. I knew I was probably going to go home and I would have regretted it forever if I did not try everything to stay in the house. All of the information I shared there in the living room, people had been talking about it for the past couple days. It wasn't like I exposed any new information or things that people were unaware of. I was trying to save myself in the moment. And as a Big Brother super fan, I hope she also understands if she had tried to blow my game up to save herself, I would have understood and I hope that she can understand the same for me, but I definitely feel bad about it, but I don't regret it. Uh, hearing from some of the other players in the game, how they wish I had handled the situation, I do wish I had handled it differently. Looking back on it, I had the information that I had and I, I, to be honest, I didn't know exactly how to go about it. And I tried to take in all the information that I could. I tried to make the decision that seemed the best at the time. And I understand if people were skeptical or think that it was opportunistic for when I revealed the information, I felt like no matter when the information came into the game, people were gonna be skeptical. So I tried to do the best that I could and let people know the information when I felt that the time was right. And the time felt right at that point and it hadn't prior. It has actually always been my dream to be called ugly on national TV. So thank you, Zingbot. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a big brother rite of passage to be Zing by Zingbot. Um, leading up to it, I was like, make me cry, Zingbot. I didn't cry, but um, it was still fun to be Zing by Zingbot, even if I wasn't crazy about my Zing.